Hey guys, you Raj here from the Astra team and in this video, we're going to talk about the transparent header option inside the Astra theme. Now, if you're using the Astra 3.0 version or above, which includes the new header and footer builder, then you will see the transparent header option inside the header footer builder or the header builder specifically. And specifically, it's bundled with the free version of Astra as well. So you don't need uh, the pro version of Astra to start using the transparent header. So as you can see, I'm inside the customizer of my website and I have the header builder and the footer builder options on the screen and the transparent header option is inside the header builder. So I'll go into the options and here you see the general settings. You'll see the header builder and we've already done a complete video on the header builder and the footer builder. So if you're interested in knowing more about how the header builder works or the footer builder works, I suggest that you take a look at that video first. And also we've already done a video on sticky header options as well. So if you're interested in learning about this feature or the header and footer builder, I'd suggest that you look at those videos first. In this video, we're going to stick to only the transparent header option. So let's go inside the settings by clicking the transparent header option. So these are the settings that you'll see inside the transparent headers. As you can see, we have a bunch of settings that we can configure and I'll go into details of all these settings. But first, you need to understand how transparent headers can be configured on your website. Now, what do I mean by that? Actually, there are two ways or two different ways to configure transparent headers on your website. The first method is what you see here. And the second method is through the post metadata itself. Now, what is the difference? Now, what's the difference between uh, both these methods? Well, if you want to enable the transparent header on most of your website, but you want to disable it or not use it on only certain pages or posts, then you would use this method. But if you want to use the regular header on most of your website, but you want to use the transparent header on just a few pages or posts or specific custom posts on your website, then you will use the second option, which is the post meta options. So first, let me show you how those options appear or where they are located on pages and posts. So I'm inside the admin area of my website and I've opened up the same post that we were opening up or I opened up in the customizer, which is the home page of the website. And if you look at the extra settings on the post itself, then you can come down to this section and notice the transparent header setting. And now here it is set to customizer setting, but I have options to enable it. So if you enable the transparent headers from the customizer and leave a post or page at the customizer setting, then it will inherit those settings. And depending on the option you set in the customizer, you have the option of either enabling it or disabling the transparent header on specific pages and posts. So if you want to use the transparent header on only a few pages or posts, use the post options or the post meta options. But if you want to enable the transparent header on majority of your website, then we'll use the customizer options. Please note that whatever settings you configure in the post or the post meta will override the customizer settings. So if you set up uh, the transparent header as enabled on a certain post while it is disabled in the customizer, that specific post will still have the transparent header. So let's get back to the customizer and watch or check out the options that you have to configure the transparent header. So the first step that you need to take to enable transparent headers on your website is to enable this checkbox, which says enable on complete website. And as soon as I click this, I'll see a bunch of options and the transparent header will be enabled on my website, which you can see right here. Now let's take a moment to understand how the transparent header options work or how the transparent header affects the design or the layout of your pages and posts. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, when you enable the transparent header option on your website, the header obviously becomes transparent, but think about it. If there is nothing below the header, then how would someone know that the header is transparent? Now, obviously it's difficult to communicate if the header is transparent, if nothing happens. So that is why to enhance the effect or to sell the effect, the entire layout of your website shifts a bit above so that it appears below the header, which sells the effect that the header is now transparent. Without it, even if the header is transparent, it won't appear so. So if you notice, I'll disable the settings once again and notice how the elements or the design shifts below it. So now just think about it once again, if this section was completely transparent, would it make a difference? Would you even notice that this section was transparent? No, but now when I enable it and the design shifts here, now I can see that the header is transparent. So when you use the transparent headers, just make sure that your design is customized in a way that uh, the header or the transparent header looks good with the layout of the website or make changes after you have enabled the transparent headers. So you can design the layout around the transparent header and make it beautiful. Now that you understand how it works, let's look at some specific options. 
Now, as I said, uh, you'd use these options for transparent headers when you want to enable the transparent header for the majority of your website and you want to leave out specific pages and posts. So now you have certain options to uh, exclude some certain pages, posts or post types from the transparent header settings. So as you can see, you have the option to disable the transparent header on 404, search pages and archive pages. Now this option is enabled by default, you can disable it. The next option is to disable on blog page. So if you have a, a page on a website which uh, lists all the blog posts that you create, sometimes it's the home page of your website. If you configure it in WordPress to display all your current blog posts, you can disable the transparent header on that page as well. On this page specifically, it's not a blog post or not a blog page. It's a completely different page, customized page. So uh, if you have a home page design like this, this option will not affect this page or that kind of page. Next option would be to disable it on the latest post page. Similar option, you can disable the transparent header on the latest post page. Then you can disable it on pages, posts, that means all the pages on your website, all the posts on your website, and custom posts will also show up here. As uh, you can see, I have WooCommerce installed, so it's showing me the option of disable on WooCommerce product pages. So if I enable this option, uh, WooCommerce product pages will not have the transparent header option and other custom post types that you create with Elementor or other page builders will also show up here. And you can disable the transparent header on those custom post types as well. Coming to the next option, you have enable on. Now what this lets you do is enable the transparent headers on either desktops, mobile phones, or desktops and mobile phones. So let me change the options and show you how it affects the page. So right now nothing happened, but if I switch to a mobile view, now you'll be able to see the transparent header on a mobile device as well. And if I change this to desktops once again, and as you can see, the mobile view does not have a transparent header. Let me switch back to the desktop view. And now you can see that the desktop view still has the transparent header. So this is the setting that you need to uh, use to control on what device types you want the enable or you want uh, the transparent header to be enabled on. All right, so now I hope you understand how to use uh, the transparent header options, how to enable or disable them on certain pages and posts or your entire website, you have complete control and also how to enable or disable them on certain devices. So let's go to the next option, which is this option, which is different logo for transparent header. Now, as I mentioned, uh, when you set the header to transparent mode, uh, the elements below the header shift above to create the effect of the transparent header or to sell the effect of the transparent header. Now, in many cases, uh, your existing logo on your website might not look good with your existing design or the transparent header design. That's why uh, you have the option to select a different logo just for transparent headers. So on the pages, you have transparent header enabled. You can have a different logo appear on the screen and the pages that do not have a transparent header will use your general logo that you already have set up on your website. Now to set a different logo for your transparent header, all you have to do is go to this option, click it, and the WordPress Media Manager will open up. And you can just select any of the logos you've uploaded to your website, or you can upload a new logo. So let me choose the Astra logo, which I have uploaded on my website already. I'll choose it right now. And it's now showing up on the screen. And what I can do is I can change the width of the logo according to what I need. So let me see if this looks good or, all right, this looks fine to me. So I'll, I can select, and change the width of the logo. And if I switch to a mobile view, then the old logo will show up because we do not have the transparent header set up on mobile devices as of now. And the new logo is only for transparent headers. So let me change that. Let me switch back to desktop and mobile device. And now you can see the logo is showing up here. Now, obviously the logo is much bigger than I would like on mobile phone devices. And when you are in the mobile view, the logo width option will also switch to the mobile view option. So now what you can do is make the size based on what you like. And this applies only to mobile phone devices. That means the width of the logo. Let's switch back to the desktop view. All right, so I hope you understand all the options inside the general tab and how to set up uh, the transparent headers and customize it on your website. Let's head to the design tab and look at some other options uh, and the cosmetic changes that you can make to your website or transparent headers specifically. So inside the design tab, you have a bunch of options. You have the bottom border size, which is set to one pixels right now. This is the bottom I'm talking about. If I increase the width, you see the width will go up. Let's say two pixels looks fine. I can also disable it by just setting it to zero. And then we can also have the option of setting the bottom border color. So I select this option and make it maybe red. You can see it instantly turns red. Now, depending on the website, uh, you might want to set a border or you might not want to set a border. That's completely up to you. So I'll reset it right now. 
And let's say I want to disable the border. So I'll just do that. Coming to these options, let's start with the background overlay. Now, transparent headers can have background overlays, which can set them apart from the rest of the website. So let's try to set that up. Let's say I want to choose a greenish looking background. And I can also set the transparency. So let's say I want to have it a bit transparent like this. And this works perfectly. And this looks good in my opinion. Now, obviously I'm not a designer, but I wanted to demonstrate that this option is readily available for your website. And obviously if you change or click this button right here, you can also change it for tablets and also change it for mobile phone devices. So for example, you want to change the background overlay for mobile phone devices. And maybe let's say you want to have it completely transparent just for mobile phone devices. You can set it like this. And now on mobile phone devices, the background or the header will be completely transparent, but for tablets and for desktops, it will still have the green overlay as you customize. So you have per device control over how you want your header to be displayed. Now coming to the next few options. Now, what are these options? Now, as you probably know, if you watch the overview video about the header footer builder, you can add multiple elements to the header by just going here, clicking the icons and just adding certain things onto the header like this. I just added the social icon and I can also uh, drag and drop and place them anywhere on the three sections in the header that we have created. Now, what these options let you do is customize the cosmetic changes or design changes for certain elements. So you have the site title, you have the menu, you have sub menu, you have social, HTML, search, widget, button and divider. So let me give you a demonstration with the search widget. So I'll remove the social icons and I'll add the search widget here. And now, uh, as you can see, it has some uh, attributes in terms of design. Let's try to customize it. So if I go to the social, uh, sorry, the search tab, I'll click it. So I have the icon color and box background color. So if I want to change the icon color to maybe something like black. And as you can see, the icon is now black. And similarly, the design elements or the design aspects of all these elements listed here can be customized for transparent headers. Let me share one more example with you. Let's go back to our previous example, which was the search or social icons, sorry. So if I add the social icons here, they're right here. If I go to the menu right here, and let's say I want to change the color once again. And let's say I want to make it somewhere green. And on hover, I can change the color to maybe, let's say, black. And once I've made the setting changes, if I go to the icons, you can see that on hover, the icons are now black, but a regular view, they are the green color that I set. Now, if you watch the overview video of the header footer builder, then you probably know that on different devices, you can create different kinds of headers. What I mean by that is if you switch to a mobile phone view, then the icons that we just added to the header will not be displayed here because you can customize the layout. So let's say you want to add certain elements to the mobile menu or the flyout menu that you've created here. So let's say I go here and I also add a search tab and I delete the mobile menu of the screen. Let's check the menu out. I have the search options right here. Now, if I go to the search options right here, once again, I can customize the options for the mobile menu. So you have complete control over the design of individual elements and how they appear on the screen. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned today. We've, uh, we've learned how to set up uh, transparent headers on our website. We've seen two different approaches to setting up transparent headers. You can set it inside the page or post, or you can set it up on your complete website and exclude certain pages by using the customizer options. You can enable it on desktop, mobile phones, or both devices at the same time. You can set up different logos for a transparent header and customize the width and certain elements for different kinds of devices. In the design tab, you can change the design of the different elements that are supported by the transparent headers. And obviously you can use the powerful header and footer builder to customize your entire header and place elements around and customize everything you want and create beautiful looking transparent headers on the fly quickly and easily without design or even WordPress knowledge or experience. I hope all your questions were answered. If they weren't, feel free to raise a support ticket and our helpful staff will get back to you as quickly as possible. My name is Yuvraj and I hope to see you in the next video.